Hi there and welcome to our daily devotion. Uh, today we're, we are remembering the prophet Ezekiel. Um, and uh, before we uh, get into our reading um, from Ezekiel, um, actually, uh, I'd like to start with the uh, devotional writing, um, which comes to us from David uh, Catreus, who is one of the uh, Lutheran reformers of the 16th century. He helped to um, put together the formula of Concord. Um, and he writes this about the prophet Ezekiel. Ezekiel, the son of Butsi, from the line of Aaron, was a priest and a prophet. In the year of the world, 3350, in the sixth year before the fall of Jerusalem, he was divinely inspired in Babylon to console and strengthen the Jews, who five years previously, at the urging of Jeremiah and of their own free will, had given themselves with King Jehoiakim, or Jeconiah, to King Nebuchadnezzar, and had migrated to Babylon. These people, seeing that the destruction of Jerusalem was delayed for five full years, were thinking that the predictions of Jeremiah were in vain, and they were, they were regretting that they had voluntarily left their fatherland. Therefore Ezekiel predicted that Jerusalem would surely be overturned, even if the punishment were delayed for a while. At the same time, he also promised the liberation and return from Babylon, chapter 11, in the year of the world, 3358, the third year of Je uh, Jeconiah's migration, Ezekiel was called to his ministry by a unique right and divine testimony, in chapters 1 through 3. The vision of the four wheels and living creatures signifies the chariot of Christ in which through the ministry of the gospel, with the breath of the Holy Spirit and the fiery tongues of the apostles, he is conveyed into all the world. In the year of the world, 3378, the 25th year of Jeconiah's migration, Ezekiel described the building of the spiritual Jerusalem, or of the ministry of the Church of Christ, from the 40th chapter until the end. So, this is a very long book, um, um, Ezekiel, um, but incredibly important prophet um, of the Lord. And um, our reading here is from Ezekiel uh, chapter um, 36, beginning with the 22nd verse. Therefore... Say to the house of Israel, Thus says the Lord God, It is not for your sake, O house of Israel, that I am about to act, but for the sake of my holy name, which you have profaned among the nations to which you came. And I will vindicate the holiness of my great name, which has been profaned among the nations, and which you have profaned among them. And the nations will know that I am the Lord, declares the Lord God, when through you I vindicate my holiness before their eyes. I will take you from the nations and gather you from all the countries and bring you into your own land. I will sprinkle clean water on you, and you shall be clean from all your, unclean, all your uncleannesses. And from all your idols, I will cleanse you. And I will give you a new heart and a new spirit I will put within you. And I will remove the heart of stone from your flesh and give you a heart of flesh. And I will put my spirit within you and cause you to walk in my statutes and be careful to obey my rules. You shall dwell in the land that I gave to your fathers and you shall be my people and I will be your God. Really, Ezekiel's um, prophecy is, has this in mind, um, is the new heaven and the new earth um, in which uh, God's people, both um, Jews and Gentiles, um, who are God's people in Christ Jesus, united to God, 
and united to one another through faith in Christ Jesus, um, that they will dwell with God and God will dwell with them. The glory of the Lord will be with them. Um, and it is for the purpose of bringing about uh, the salvation of God's people um, of all time and place that God does everything that he does. Um, and Luther had an interesting um, comment about Ezekiel, and he talks about how Ezekiel makes it very clear that the reason why God um, brings them back, the Israelites back from um, exile in back into the land is for the purpose of then sending the son of David, which whom uh, Ezekiel talks about, who will rule over um, his people forever. And that and um, our Lord Jesus Christ is whom the prophet spoke of there. And under the lordship of the Lord Jesus Christ, um, all the nations are blessed, all who have faith in him, for salvation is given to all people who believe, who trust in the gospel, that uh, forgiveness, life, and salvation is found in Jesus Christ alone. And that is really the overarching message of Ezekiel and really of the entire scriptures. Let us pray. Lord God, our Heavenly Father, through the prophet Ezekiel, you continued the prophetic pattern of teaching your people the true faith and demonstrating through miracles your presence in creation to heal it of its brokenness. Grant that your church may see in your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, the final end times prophet, whose teaching and miracles continue in your church through the healing medicine of the gospel and the sacraments. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord look upon you with favor and give you peace.